Who's the daddy? Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So if you're doing a speed run of Dark Souls 3, or even if you just want to get through the level as quickly as possible, I've actually got a sneaky little shortcut that's going to cut out quite a good part of Catacombs of Carthus. So when you first come into the Catacombs of Carthus, after completing the Abyss Watcher boss battle, there is actually quite a large bridge here on the left hand side and you've got to kind of go through quite a few pretty tough enemies and some skeletons with bows and arrows and fire across at you and they're actually a little bit of a pain in the backside. But if you run along to the end here, there's actually some kind of little ledges below you that you can actually drop off and you can actually use these ledges to cut out quite a good section. Those pain in the backside bone junkies I was just talking about with the, the bows and the arrows, these are the guys you're going to drop down onto. Ah, payback's a biatch. And, you know, once you've taken these guys out, you will actually notice where you are. If you've played this game before, maybe you're on your second, third, or maybe even further ahead than that in terms of playthroughs, you'll know where we are in a second, because when you drop off, you'll actually see we're at the bottom of the steps, and these steps is where this kind of like big ball of skeletons kind of rolls down. So as you will know, that's actually cut out a half decent amount of the map. But just before I go, I'm actually going to show you something else that you may not have been aware of as well, which, you know... It might help you guys, especially if you're relatively new to playing the game. These big balls that are kind of rolling around in this area, they're actually controlled by these skeletons with these like pointy wizard hats. And they're sometimes hiding away where you might not see them. This guy here is actually sneaky, he's hiding in the corner. Very easily missed when you're distracted by that big ball. Uh, but if you actually kill this guy, it will actually make that ball of skeletons explode. Or at least until you've used a bonfire and obviously everything resets. But once you've killed him, the bones will explode and you will actually get a, uh, a shard there that you can use at the bonfire. And using that at the bonfire will actually increase the efficiency of your Estus flasks. So if this has helped you guys find a sneaky shortcut, please do give me a thumbs up. Also follow me on Twitter at CringyDad for all the gaming updates. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and help it grow. And thanks for watching. Who's the daddy?